on the first day of class, the teacher, Mr. Keating, asked his students to tear up their textbooks. The students were filled with surprise, but soon one student began to tear a page, and others followed suit. Unlike other teachers, Mr. Keating used his actions to show that class should not be rigid. The students were bewildered, but he encouraged them to take the stage one by one, to view the world with different perspectives, and to pursue their grades while also learning to think independently. This was a prestigious university in the United States, where parents eagerly sent their children in hopes of gaining admission to top universities. However, Mr. Keating defied this norm, emphasizing that grades were not the most important. He encouraged students to break through their limitations. When discussing poetry, he would lead the students to the playground, reciting lines of poetry while playing football, feeling the power of poetry. He also asked the students to walk in the corridors in their preferred way, embracing their uniqueness. This unconventional teaching method broke the students' traditional perspectives, making them curious about the teacher. Through library research, the students learned that Mr. Keating was once a student at this university. Having served as the captain of the football team and founding a mysterious organization called the Dead Poets Society, the students approached him, inquiring about the society. He explained that due to strict school rules, he and his friends often gathered in a cave outside the campus to vent their emotions through words and poetry. During a class, Mr. Keating randomly checked the assigned homework, asking students to recite their own poems. This made the introverted Anderson feel uneasy, but Mr. Keating specifically chose him. Anderson, afraid of being mocked by his classmates, claimed that he hadn't written anything. Mr. Keating saw through his ruse, telling him that it was okay if he couldn't write, he could just express his true self. Mr. Keating asked Anderson to close his eyes, imagine his image intuitively, and speak out loud what he saw in his mind. The applause from the audience continuously rang out. And with Mr. Keating's help, Anderson overcame his psychological barrier. Neil, a student, dreamed of becoming an actor, with a strong desire for the stage, heat up courage and participated in a play audition, surprisingly being cast as the lead male role. However, he could not be happy because his father would never approve of him participating in theatrical performances. To fulfill his dream, Neil forged a letter. After a rehearsal, Neil returned to his dormitory and found his father waiting for him. His father angrily scolded Neil forbidding him to use his study time for acting and ordering him to immediately quit the play. Helpless, Neil sought advice from Mr. Keating, who told him to communicate more with his father from the heart and let him understand his passion for his dream. Neil followed the teacher's advice, and his father agreed to let him perform. On the night of the performance, Mr. Keating brought his classmates to watch, and Neil's father also attended. Neil's vivid performance won applause from the entire audience. Amidst the applause, Neil found his purpose in life, but little did he expect that his father was still very unhappy. After returning home, Neil's father solemnly informed him that he had transferred him to a military school. Neil tried to protest, but his father refused to listen. Looking into his father's cold eyes, Neil finally realized that no matter how hard he tried to express himself, he could not change his father's mind. Unable to bear the oppressive education from his father, Neil ultimately chose to end his life. Soon, the news of his death spread throughout the campus. Instead of reflecting, Neil's father blamed the school's education for his son's death. To protect its reputation, the school's principal began to investigate the matter thoroughly. Upon learning that Neil had participated in the Dead Poets Society, he questioned each member of the society individually. One student, to protect himself, shifted all the blame onto the teacher. When the students learned of this, they expressed dissatisfaction with his behavior. As everyone knew in their hearts that the teacher had never instilled wrong ideas in them. However, since a tragedy had occurred, someone had to be held accountable. The principal summoned all the parents and asked them to sign a letter of dismissal for Mr. Keating. Conscientious students refused to sign, but the principal threatened them with expulsion. Under the dual pressure from the school and their parents, the students had no choice but to. Mr. Keating was dismissed from the school and his literature class was taken over by the principal. As he returned to the classroom to collect his things, the students' faces were filled with guilt. It was Mr. Keating who taught them to be brave, to have independent thoughts. Yet, they had driven him away. As Mr. Keating was about to leave the classroom, the usually introverted Anderson could no longer contain himself. The principal quickly intervened, threatening expulsion. 
Anderson reluctantly sat down. But, Mr. Keating smiled, for he had seen Anderson transform from cowardice to courage. As he turned to leave again, he heard familiar voices calling him, with tears in his eyes. Mr. Keating looked at the bravery of his students and smiled sincerely, having no regrets.